Well, my dad paid his way through Columbia Business School doing stand-up comedy, and I feel like we always had humor in our family. We're always in stitches. My parents, my parents are 14 years apart. My mom was 22 when she had me, and so she kind of grew up with my brother and me. And they kind of let us do a lot of stuff that we that isn't typical for children of that age. I watched Gilda Radner on Saturday Night Live every weekend, and so. Just, I feel like by osmosis, there was so much humor. Both my parents are wildly smart and believed in education, and I always studied my ass off to, and, you know, I was a voracious reader, but I did it for school, really, because I wanted to <laughs> get the A's, and, you know, I really focused a lot on education. Um, but I think in terms of a writer, I started writing an interview magazine, and I, I wrote in Vogue, for Vogue in college, and then when I was a staff writer at Interview, I just was given a lot of freedom, even though it wasn't the happiest couple years of my life at <laughs> that job. Um, <laughs> but I feel like it was baptism by fire, and I, I had a lot of freedom, whereas assistants in Condé Nast would be like walking the stylist dog or something. And I, I was writing articles at 20 years old. So um, I had graduated college early, a, a year early. I graduated in three years. And I went right to work. So my friends were still in school, like barfing in fraternities, and I was, you know, in a job. And it was it was really great because it did give me that freedom. And then um, I wrote my first novel when I was 27 called The Right Address, which was started my career and was the best experience. And I kind of never looked back. It's honed through the years as I've gotten even goofier. And then parent, of course, parenthood gives you a whole new lens on humanity. So.